ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்தியா நரம் செய்வ நரோத்தமம் தேவிம் சரஸ்வதிம் வியாசம் ததோ ஜயம் உதீரையே நஷ்டப்பிரயேஷு அபத்ரேஷு நித்தியம் பாகவத சேவையா பகவதி உத்தம ஸ்லோகே பக்திர்பவதி நைஷ்டுகி ஓம் அஜானதிமிரஞ்சசிய ஜானாஞ்சன ஷலாக்கையே சக்ஷுருண்மிலிதம் என தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீகுரவே நம ஸ்ரீ சைத்தன்ய மனோபிஷ்டம் ஸ்தாபிதம் என பூதலே ஸ்வயம் ரூபகதாமையம் ததாத்தி சோபதாந்திகம் வந்தேகம் ஸ்ரீகுரு ஸ்ரீ உதபதகமலம் ஸ்ரீகுருன் வைஷ்ணவாம் சீரூபம் சாகரஜாத்தம் சகன ரகுநாத்தான்விதம் தாம் சஜீவம் சாத்வைத்தம் சாவதூதம் பரிசன சைத்தம் கிருஷ்ண சைத்தன்ய தேவம் ஸ்ரீராதாகிருஷ்ண பாதான் சகன லலிதா ஸ்ரீ விஷாகான்விதம் ஏ கிருஷ்ணா கருணா சிந்து தினபந்தோ ஜகத்பதே கோபேஷ கோபிகா காந்த ராதா காந்த நமோஸ்துதே தப்த காஞ்சன கௌராங்கி ராதே பிருந்தாவனேஸ்வரி வருஷபானு சுதே தேவி பிரணமாமி ஹரி பிரியே வாஞ்சா கல்பதர்பஸ் கிருபா சிந்துபே அவ பதிதானம் பாவனேபியோ வைஷ்ணவேபியோ நமோ நம நமா ஓம் விஷ்ணு பாதாய கிருஷ்ண பிரேஷ்டாய பூதலே ஸ்ரீமதே பக்தி விகாசய சுவாமி நிதி நாமினே நமா ஓம் விஷ்ணு பாதாய கிருஷ்ண பிரேஷ்டாய பூதலே ஸ்ரீமதே பக்தி வேதாந்த சுவாமி நிதி நாமினே நமஸ்தே சாரஸ்வதே தேவே கௌரவாணி பிரச்சாரிணே நிர்விசேஷுனியவாதி பாச்சாத்திய தேசதாரணே ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ண சைத்தன்ய பிரபு நித்தியானந்த ஸ்ரீ அத்வைத்த கதாதர சிவாஷாதி கௌர பக்த பிருந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ண ஹரே கிருஷ்ண 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 ஹரே 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 ராம ஹரே ராம 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 ஹரே ஹரே ஜெய ஜெய ஸ்ரீ சைத்தன்ய ஜெய நித்தியானந்த ஜெய அத்வைத்த சந்திர ஜெய கௌர பக்த பிருந்த பஞ்சதத்மாத்மகம் கிருஷ்ணம் பக்தரூபஸ்வரூபகம் பக்தாவதாரம் பக்தியாக்கியம் நமாமி பக்த சக்திகம் சம்சார துக்க ஜலத உபதி தசிய காம குரோதாதி நகரை மகரை கவலீகிருத்தசனா நிகட்டிதராசிரய சந்திரமமதேஹி பதாவலம்பம் ஆஜானுலம்பிதபுஜோ கனகாவதாத்தௌ சங்கீதனைக்கவிதரோ கமலாயதாட்சௌ விஸ்வாம்பரோ திஜவரோ யுகதர்ம பாலோ வந்தே ஜகத் பிரியகரோ கருணாவதாரோ 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 ஸ்ரீ சைத்தனி மாபிரபு கீ ஜாய் ஸ்ரீல பிரபாது கீ ஜாய் வியர் நவ் கண்டினியூ நவதீப் மண்டல பரிக்கிரமா டியூ டு சோ மெனி அதர் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஐ ஐ எம் நாட் ஏபிள் டு டேக் கிளாஸஸ் ஃபார் த பாஸ்ட் டூ வீக்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ எம் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம்லி சாரி நவ் வி வில் கோ டு நவதீப் மண்டல பரிக்கிரமா செகண்ட் பார்ட் Uh, I'm going to share the videos uh, so that we, if we have the Navadip Mandal Parikrama map, it will be easy for us to follow. So, So, uh, before Gaur, Gaur Purima, um, devotees go for uh, Navadip Mandala Parikrama. Uh, there is a Gaur Mandal Parikrama, which is even bigger. That takes many, many days also. This Navadip Mandala Parikrama is a, a Parikrama for about uh, eight to nine days, seven to eight days. Uh, as they, sometimes they cover two, uh, two islands in one day. In last class, uh, we have covered Antardip, Simantadip, Godrumadip and Madhyadip. Right? So now, I, in the last class, I made a mistake of describing Madhyadip uh, along with Godrumadip. Uh, so now, I am sorry for that. Um, so, I will be clear now again that um, this Madhyadip has uh, the places which I explained in Godramadip. Godramadip is Swarup Ganj um, and uh, the places of Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Uh, 
uh, Swarupganj is a place where um, the Surabi, cow and Indra Dev, they worshipped Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And afterwards, um, I explained about a place called Naimisaranyam. This Naimisaranyam, Amsavagana, Gomati River, Brahma Pushkar, Gurukshetra, Panchaveni. All this place comes in Madhya, Madhya Deep. Madhya Deep is meant for Smaranam. Remembering the Lord. Hmm? Who always remembered the Lord is uh, Prahlad Maharaj. So now in this place, uh, devotees, uh, especially in Navadip Mandal, all the demigods, all the rishis, munis visited and they worshipped Lord Gauranga. So Madhya Deep is why it is called as Madhya Deep. Uh, when the Sabda rishis worshipped, uh, when the Sabda rishis came to know that, instead of doing meditation, by dancing and um, by doing chanting, by kirtan and dancing, happily and we perform Nama Sangirtana, uh, it is easy, easy to attain the Lord, love of Lord. So the Sabdarishis came to Navadip Mandal, this is the place, and they were meditating, they were um, doing kirtan, and they were doing bhajans uh, to attract uh, Gauranga Mahaprabhu, because they know that in Kali Yuga he is going to come. So when they did in, in this place, um, Lord appeared in the afternoon time. So it is Madhyana time. So it is Madhya Deep. That's why the name came as Madhya Deep here. So they were all remembering, the, the Sadarishis were remembering the Lord. So uh, in this place only, uh, we have Naimisaranya. Naimisaranya, uh, the, recently I visited a Naimisaranya where Sutago Swami uh, described Bhagavatam uh, to the Rishis uh, headed by Shaunaka Rishi. That is Timad Bhagavatam. Here, uh, in, in, here also we have Naimisaranya where they do Gaura Katha, Gaura Bhagavat. So the Gaura Bhagavat were recited by the Rishis Munis um, here in Naimisaranya. So here also in Naimisaranya we have Gomati River. Here also we have Gomati River in a, in a form of a small pond. So these are all I explained in last week, but in the place of um, in the place of uh, Godrumadip uh, by mistake. So, but these are all coming in uh, Madhya Deep, and then uh, I also explained about a Brahmin uh, who travel who wanted to go to Pushkara in uh, in Rajasthan. This is the Pushkar uh, is a Tirtha, a holy river, holy play, holy lake, um, uh, meant for Lord Brahma. It is very Pushkar is a very holy place, Dham also. Oh, but uh, Brahmin then Dvidasa, Dvidasa his name is Dvidasa, not that Dvidasa. So that Brahmin he wanted to. I check his name. Names I am forgetting. His name is Vidasa Pushkar. Yes. Ah. His name is Divi Divi Diva Dasa Diva Dasa. The Divadasa Brahmana, um, I, I guess he is from South India. He wanted to go to Pushkar. So on the way, he heard uh, somebody is telling, maybe some demigods that was not mentioned here. So he heard the, someone's voice and uh, uh, he stayed in Navadip, especially in Madhya Deep, this place. But... Uh, But this uh, Dvidasa was uh, uh, was stay, was staying doing his bhajan in this place. But after after he became old, when he came here, he was young. But when he became old, he started having the desire to visit Pushkar again. So when he cried, now I became very old, and how I can go to Pushkar? So it is not possible. So he was crying. 
when he was crying, then the Pushkar Teeth, all the Teerthas, all the holy places, they are personified. He himself manifested there. He was there already in Madhya Deep. Pushkar Tirtha is there already. But the person came out and he was telling uh, this uh, Divadasa that don't worry, I am here residing eternally. I am more powerful than that uh, Pushkar Tirtha. So you please take, uh, take a dip here and then you, uh, you will attain uh, Krishna Prema here. So you take a, a dip here. Then the Brahmana was extremely happy and he, he took a dip here and then he was glorifying the Lord and he uh, got the uh, love for Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So that uh, that Leela also happened here. So Brahma Pushkar is also here in Madhya Deep. And then uh, Guru Kshetra, the holy place Guru Kshetra is also there. In the Guru Kshetra, um, devotees, it is one I last week itself I explained that one Maharaj explained full Bhagavad Gita briefly. And briefly, very nicely, he gave a uh, <clears throat> overview of Bhagavad Gita with a nice slokas. Uh, uh, sloka quotations and then uh, the after Guru Kshetra is Panchaveni. Panchaveni Pancha means five, Veni means rivers. So the five rivers um, meet here. So the five rivers place here it is mentioned as uh, Alakananda, Bhagirathi, Mandakini, Yamuna, and uh, Saraswati. <clears throat> All these five rivers uh, are there in Panchaveni. But uh, the Saraswati is always undercurrent. So this place is the uh, very, very... Uh, All the all the important rivers are going. So here also, normally um, Parikrama uh, group stay here for breakfast. So then... <clears throat> Until Panchaveni, Madhya Deep uh, is over. So then now, by crossing, see, this is Bhagirathi. This is Bhagirathi. Uh, Bhagirathi is none other than Ganga, right? Yeah, all, all these rivers are uh, branches of Ganga or Ganga itself. So by crossing Ganga, Bhagirathi, we go to Kualadip. Hmm? So in Kualadip, is now presently Navadip, Navadip city. So now crossing Ganga from Madhya Deep, we are going to Koladip. What is the speciality of Koladip? Koladip is uh, for Pada Sevanam. Pada Sevanam, who has done, who is doing, always Lakshmiji is doing. So here is the place where Varahadev appeared. Varahadev appeared um, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastime. Uh, one Brahmana uh, was worshipping the Lord, uh, Lord and he was a devotee of Varaha, Lord Varaha. So he appeared as Lord Varaha to him. So Koladip also has uh, um, different places to visit. So the main place is Dameshwar Mahaprabhu, <clears throat> Dameshwar Mahaprabhu Temple. So here, uh, Vishnu Piriya, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's second wife, Lakshmi Piriya, we all know, when Mahaprabhu left uh, uh, Mayapur to earn money, or he, the main purpose of him to go to Bangladesh was to uh, preach. But mother was insisting that uh, family also needs some wealth. So he said, I will go and accumulate some wealth and come back. When he visited Bangladesh, his wife, Lakshmi Piriya, uh, couldn't tolerate the separation of the Lord. So the separation of the Lord became a snake and bitter. So she leaves the body. So by the insist, uh, by Mother Sachi insist Lord Mahaprabhu to get married again. So he get married again with Vishnu Piriya. So Vishnu Piriya was very young. Uh, when Mahaprabhu was uh, 
preaching in uh, Mayapur, preaching in Navadip, um, he, he didn't find much response from the people. So he thought, let me take sanya so that <clears throat> people will respect and take up Krishna Bhakti. So he decided to take sanyas when the wife was very young. Mother, widowed mother was also there. So it is a big tragedy for the wife, right? But uh, Vishnu Kriya uh, requested Mahaprabhu to uh, bless her with bhakti. So Mahaprabhu gave exactly the replica. I mean, the, the deity, if you see in uh, Paladip, we have Dameshwar Mahaprabhu temple, uh, you can see Mahaprabhu there really. You can see definitely some deities in Nav Navadip. Uh, you can see uh, that you can witness that uh, he's there really. Such deity, one of one such deity is this, Paladip, uh, this Dameshwar Mahaprabhu. He put himself in that deity and gave it to Vishnu Piriya. And Vishnu Piriya worshipped that deities for long, long years. Some say it is one, 20 years she lived and then she worshipped. How she worshipped? She used to chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, one mala, take one rice out. So how many rounds she chanted, that much rice she takes out and that much she cooks and offer and then eat. Imagine that. That was her life. And also, if you go to that temple, you can see the Padika of Mahaprabhu. Pad uh, Mahaprabhu's Padika is there. So, sometimes this uh, Dameshwar Mahaprabhu Vigraha deity, it is uh, decorated as Vishnu Piriya also. It is very rare, but I have uh, fortunate, I have Fortunately, I have seen uh, Mahaprabhu's Vigraha decorated as Vishnu Piriya also. Sometimes Vishnu Piriya, sometimes Mahaprabhu. Mostly Mahaprabhu, sometimes uh, Vishnu Piriya. So, recently, after Gaur Purnima, some devotees came. So, I had the opportunity to take them again. In Parikrama, I, was, I took Darshan. Again, for, to, for them to take Darshan, I took them. And next day to Gaur Purnima, I thought it will be very heavily crowded and I was so fearful, scared to go there. But it was crowded, of course. But the deity was so, so beautiful. If possible, I'll share the photo. I didn't take the photo. The Mataji came with me. She took the photo. And uh, the deity was extremely grand and attractive. Uh, this deity, especially when I go there, I I feel that, you know, it's really powerful. The atmosphere may not be so attractive. It's a small temple in between the shops. But Dameshwar Mahaprabhu is great. So, well decorated on that day with uh, gold-like, I don't know whether it is gold or artificial, very nicely decorated. So we go there, uh, Dameshwar Mahaprabhu temple. And before that, because when we cross from Madhya Deep to Kola Deep, uh, we, we walk through a lot of uh, place. So on the way, we get um, a place called um, Aparada Panch. Uh, if we commit any Vaishnava Aparada, that can be nullified in that place. It is normally said that uh, you have to go there, stay there, and then uh, you get uh, your Vaishnava Prad gets uh, over, forgiven. Uh, so, this place, um, Devananda Pandit uh, Gaudiamat is there. Uh, so, if what happened this past time, you may be knowing. Uh, Devananda Pandit uh, associate uh, in the uh, during the time of Mahaprabhu's past time, uh, he was uh, describing Bhagavatam. Shiva Stakur he was hearing that Bhagavatam and he was he went into ecstasy. When he went into ecstasy, he was crying loudly. When he was crying loudly, uh, the other uh, the followers of Devananda Pandit got a little bit uh, disturbed. And they didn't know 
the valley of Shiva's Thakur, and then they took him out from the Bhagavatam class and then threw him out. This made the Aparad and the, the Devan and the Pandit. Later, he couldn't describe. He, he underwent the Aparad, uh, punishment for the Vaishnava Aparad, which he did. Then he asked forgiveness from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu forgiven him. So that is the place where we have to go and ask for forgiveness. But um, when I discussed this with, with some devotees, they said that if we, because every time we commit lots of offenses to devotees, uh, what to do? Then um, that particular devotee suggested that better we recite the 108 names of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu every day, um, morning from 6 to 8.30. Six from uh, that is the that this prayer, hundred and eight names of Mahaprabhu was uh, given by Sarubhama Bhattacharya. Uh, this particular time we have to recite every day, and it is very nice prayer. So, I told in the Tamil class also that uh, if anyone can recite this, it will be nice because we need to take the mercy of Mahaprabhu uh, to avoid this Vaishnava Prarthi. Hmm? Uh, then, after this temple, um, we follow the, uh, we go to um, Devanand Pandit Ashram. Uh, then, uh, then we go to Dameshwar Mahaprabhu Temple. Uh, then there is a place called uh, uh, Paramatala. This Paramathala, uh, we have Pauruda Maya Temple. Pauruda Maya Temple means uh, uh, Maya Devi's temple. That is Mahakali and uh, Lord Shiva are under a big banyan tree. Big banyan tree. That is a uh, shopping area in uh, Navadip. But still these two deities are there. We can take darshan of them. Then we go to a very, very important place that is Bhajan Kutir of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj. Who is Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj? He is spiritual master of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj travelled from Vrindavan to Mayapur at a very old age, maybe 100 years. When he travelled, he was carried by, by his servant in a basket. So the servant used to carry him in the basket by walk only. So when they enter into the forest, they could see that wild animals, tiger, lion. So the servant used to get so scared, no? definitely. But Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj used to pacify him. Please don't worry, they are all Dambasi. They will not touch you. They are all devotees. They will not disturb you. Exactly same way, the tigers, lions, they don't disturb them, they go away. So like that, they crossed all this forest and came to Navadip because the Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj wanted to do bhajan in the banks of Ganga and think of Mahaprabhu. So when he was here, Bhaktivinoda Thakur um, took his uh, darshan and um, took his guidance and he requested him that we have to find out where Mahaprabhu appeared. Because after Mahaprabhu's appearance, Ganga closed everything. So he was requesting him, please uh, help me. So again, they, uh, the servant carried him in the basket and they were coming to Mayapur. And in the particular place where Maha Mahaprabhu appeared, the neem tree, when they come to that place, uh, Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj jumped out of the basket because they could see lots of Tulsi garden. Lots and lots of beautiful Tulsis were growing and he jumped out of the basket and he was doing Kirtan. He was jumping and doing Kirtan. So he said this is the place which is in Mayapur very near to our uh, temple our, the place where I am living also. So Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj identified uh, the birthplace of Mahaprabhu. His authority and he can do his in the Parampara Acharya. 
So he did his bhajan in the place. We have still, we have a bhajan mandap there. We can go there. And every time when we go there, we do sit there and chant our rounds. One or two rounds there. And his samadhi is there in that temple. And deities are also there. So we take darshan of uh, bhajan kutir. Then uh, we finish. This, until this, we finish Koladip. Okay. Koladip, uh, uh, we have... Um, uh, we have uh, Devananda Pandit Ashram, uh, Dameshwar Mahaprabhu Temple, Paruda Maya, that is Paramatala, where Lord Shiva and Mahamaya is there. And then we have uh, uh, Dameshwar Mahaprabhu, I told you. And then we have Bhajan Kutir. These are all the places of Koladip. Koladip is meant for a Pada Sevanu, which Vishnu Priya is doing Pada Sevanu. Mm -hmm. And also, Lord Varahade appeared in this. In different yuga, Lord Varahade appeared here. Um, so now we are uh, going to the next deep, Rithu, Rithu Deep. In Rithu Deep, we do Archana. Rithu Deep, we do Archana. So this place um, is called Rithu Deep because uh, it has all the uh, seasons personified reside here. Uh, six seasons are there and all these six seasons personifications are residing here. That's why the name is Rithu Deep. Here we can uh, find the school of uh, Mahaprabhu where he studied and when he uh, he his pen become a tree here. Mahaprabhu's pen become a tree here. That also we can see here. And uh, another important place here is Champahati. So the Champahati uh, is a place uh, where we can see Gaur Gadadhar. See, normally we heard about Gaur Nithai, but here in Champahati, we see Gaur Gadadhar. And uh, these deities are also exactly resembling Mahaprabhu. If, if you see them, like you can see that uh, the Mahaprabhu is here like that. Before uh, Mahaprabhu's, uh, the Gaurgatha, the deities appeared here, this place, uh, in this place, Jayadev Goswami lived in the Saraturdeep. Jayadev Goswami lived here and he did a lot of poetry, right? I will briefly describe about Jayadev Goswami because his life is very big. Life history is very big, but still we will go through briefly. Uh, he wrote the Dasavadara Stotram. He wrote Gita Govindam. Uh, when he was uh, writing Gita Govindam, there is one uh, sentence uh, that Krishna is asking the Lot, uh, the dust of dust particles uh, from the lotus feet of Radharani. So Jayadev Goswami felt that this should not be, this is a poem and uh, describing the pastimes, intimate pastimes of Radha and Krishna, which ordinary people like us should not uh, speak. But still, um, when Jayadev Goswami also came across such thought that this cannot be there, then you know he wrote and then he uh, erased it and uh, it was a noon time so he called his wife uh, Batmavadi her name was Batmavadi and he said Batmavadi I am going for Ganga bath uh, please uh, prepare the lunch I will come and take so he went when he went the Lord came as uh, Jayadev Goswami and uh, asked his wife please feed me so she fed she was prepared that time, a lunch, and then she fed him. And then he went into the room and wrote the same sentence right nicely and then went. After some time, immediately, uh, Jaydev Goswami himself came. When, but when Jaydev Goswami came, but Batmavadi was taking prasad. Then Jaydev Goswami was astonished. Can a Dharmapatini take uh, prasad before husband? You never did it. 
then Bhatnavati was shocked. Swami, just now only you had and you went into the room and you were you were writing. So I thought you have done. So I am I'm taking prasad. You see, I saw your remnants. I'm taking in your plate only. You see, just now you went. I'm surprised. Then he went into the room. Oh, I went to room and writing. She said, yes, you went to went for writing. Then when he saw that he can see the fresh ink in the in the in the leaf plate, leaf uh, papers the ink was very fresh and the same sentence which he erased was written now he understood who okay. came and then he he told Bhatmavadi, you are very fortunate to see krishna it was not me who came krishna came i am hungry i didn't take prasad he took like that, uh, this is a very sweet pastime of Jayadeva Goswami. Jayadeva Goswami was a very, 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 very pure devotee. That's why Krishna uh, gave him uh, the intelligence to write Gita Govinda. Gita Govinda is a poetry, very, very intimate pastime of Radha and Krishna, which normally, uh, nor uh, this ordinary people cannot read. <coughs> <coughs> So, I know only Gita Govinda name. I don't know what is there in it. Because I am not qualified to study Gita Govinda. So, uh, Jayadeva Goswami stayed in this place. And this place is called Champahati because the Champa flowers were so much here. Hati means like a place. So, Champa flowers were so much. So, it is called as Champahati. Later, Gaurgadadar uh, deities were given to a devotee, so he worshipped. So that place is a very beautiful place. Uh, the Parikrama devotees go there and a lot of Kada. They are only breakfast prasadam we take and then lots of uh, Kada. Uh, hearing happens here. Anyway, this is the place we do Archanam. Archana is also like a prayers. Do, yeah, do Archana for the Lord. So in Ritidip, another place is called Samudra Gatha. Samudra Gatha. Samudra means Samudra only, ocean. Here in this place, in the Ritidip, this ocean personified came to Ganga. See, Ganga is more blessed. So the Ganga, the Samudra, uh, the ocean personified came to Ganga and told that you are more fortunate than me. But Ganga told, you are also, you are fortunate because uh, uh, Lord Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left uh, Ganga, the place of Ganga, Mayapur and went to Puri where Samudra is there, right? But uh, um, Samudra uh, personified told, Ocean personified told, Ganga is more fortunate because the past times are eternally happening. It is not that Lord went, yeah, but he is always here. So like that they converse with each other, but um, uh, to to release the past times of the Lord, the uh, the some uh, the, 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 the ocean came to Ganga undercurrent and he is also there. That's why this place is called Samudra Gata. And here we have a place uh, called Ratupura where um, Radha Kund is there. But now it is not uh, visible to us. They say that a prop, approximate place where Radha Kund is there, they say. Uh, and then <clears throat> we go to a, a place um, I, I told you the school of Mahaprabhu and uh, um, where Vidya Vachaspati's uh, residence is there. Vidya Vachaspati was the teacher of uh, Mahaprabhu and there we can see the birthplace of Sarubhama Bhattacharya also. Sarubhama Bhattacharya uh, was living in Puri but his birthplace is here. Then we go to the place called Janu Muni Ashram. Now we have to uh, see what is who is this Janumuni. Janumuni in this uh, no no. Now we are still in Ritidip. 
Afterwards, we will go to Janadeep. There we will go to the story. Now I will explain Rithudeep again. Rithudeep has uh, Samudragata, Champahati, Rathupura and Vidyanagar. Then we go to Janudeep. Janudeep is mean, uh, meant for Vandanam. Glorification of the Lord. Vandanam. So now we will see uh, what happened in Janudeep. Why it is called as Janudeep. There was a Rishi called Janu Muni. Janu Muni who was meditating. When Bhagirath brought Ganga from, uh, from the heavenly planets. We all know Bhagirath's ancestors. 60,000 ancestors were burned to ashes by Kapila Muni. When they disturbed him. So, but before uh, Bhagirath, so many kings came and they did, but they, they they were not successful. But Bhagirath was successful by doing a very, very high penance. He could please Ganga Devi. When Ganga Devi came to uh, give him darshan, uh, she said, uh, Bhagirath, my dear Bhagirath, my force is very high. There are two problems in coming down from heavenly planets. One is that I am very powerful. Now, nobody can check my speed. Then it is very dangerous one. And two, uh, and when people, I am pure, when people come to take bath deep in me, they give their sins to me. Uh, these two problems are there for me, so I don't want to come here. Then Bahirath pacified her that I will request Lord Shiva to control your speed, which he did, Lord Shiva did. And <clears throat> you, in you, the common people come and give you sin, but the devotees, when they take bath in Ganga, they give you, they give you lots of punya. So then you will be benefited. Then she agreed. And Bhagirath said, I am going forward, you please follow me. So he was going in the horse. Ganga is chasing him. But when they come to Navadip, uh, Janu Muni was meditating on Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And this place, Janu Muni took darshan of Gauranga Mahaprabhu also. So that's why this place is called Janudip. But when Janu Muni was meditating, Ganga smashed him, disturbed him. Janamuni said, come. He swallowed her. Then when Bhagirat saw that Ganga is not coming, he could see that Rishi was meditating. So he went to him and requested him <clears throat> to give the Ganga back. Then he uh, he took the Ganga back, released, released Ganga. Because she appeared from the body of Janumuni, Janumuni became her father. So that's why Ganga had the name, got, got the name Janudi, Janu, Janavi, sorry, Janavi. So this place, that's why it is called Janadeep. So we also have had this uh, pastime here. So from Janadeep, we are going to Modadrumadeep. Modadrimadip. One, one minute, I'll come to Modadrimadip. Uh, Modadrimadip is for uh, Dasyam. Dasyam is meant for the great Anumanj. He is the best and best of servant. Nobody can excel him in service. So, uh, one time this happened that, uh, you know, uh, many devotees were there. So they were serving Ramchandra, Ramanacha, Ramchandra, Ramchandra, Ramchandra. So they were all feeling, why only Anuman? We will also serve him. So I, they didn't give him any service. But still Anuman was insisting, I will do some service. Uh, they said, no service. But then he said, when Lord Ramchandra uh, do yawning, then I will do go and do this. 
I will have that service, so I want to be with him. Lord Ramachandra. So, Anumanji's mood is that how I can serve Krishna, how I can serve Lord Ram. That was his mood. But when, at times when devotees were not given service, <clears throat> they are not upset. Okay. Uh, they are, even they accept that condition also. We can see in um, Lord Ram's pastimes, he is the hero. Lord Anuman is the hero. But when uh, in the Krishna's pastime, where is Anuman? Who is hero? Hero is Krishna, uh, Arjun. And uh, where is this Anuman? Anuman is in the flag. So the devotees described that when a, when, a, when a devotee wants to be want to serve Krishna, whether he really serves or whether he is only in the flag, he doesn't mind. You see, in one pastime he is the hero, in another pastime he is just to be there in the in the flag. That's all his service. So a devotee never minds what service, but he wants to do service. That lesson we learn from Anuman. And one sweet pastime one devotee described in Modhadrupadi about Anumanji. So there is a list of um, a devotees um, uh, in, in the diary of uh, Lord Ramachandra. So he, the Anuman wants to see it, whether my name is there or not. So, unfortunately, in that there is no name. There is uh, Anuman's name is not at all there. And um, there is another list. So, Anuman felt very sad. And he was uh, like almost crying. And then Lord Ramchandra said, why you are very upset? He said, in the list of devotees, I am not there. Then Lord Ramachandra said, you are mistaken. These are the devotees who want to see me. But there is another list. That list whom I want to see is there. He gave that list. In that list, only Anuman's name was there. So that is the greatness of uh, Anuman and, uh, Lord, and the relationship between Anuman and Lord Ramachandra. So this Ram Kada, because Ramayan, uh, Ram also visited this Maudha Um <clears throat> So lots of Ram Kada happened in Maudha Dhrumadip. This place is presently called as Mamagachi. Hmm? Mamagachi. This place, there are other uh, uh, places where important things happened here, so which I will describe now. Um, Sita Devi's this, uh, Ramchandra's the Leela's, they is, explain and then uh, we in this pastimes of uh, Mahaprabhu, uh, Vyasadeva appeared as Vrindavan Das Thakur. So his birthplace is here. Who is Vrindavan Das Thakur? In, uh, we all know in the pastime of uh, Mahaprabhu, one day, Mahaprabhu called the niece, niece, niece of um, um, Shiva Shtakur and uh, Tachar, small girl, maybe five years, six years, like that. And then she got Krishna Prema. <clears throat> Her name was Narayani. And she lived in this Modhadrumadip after marriage. Uh, um, so she got a son by name Vrindavanda Shtakur. So that Vrindavan Das Thakur is none other than Vyasadeva. So Vrindavan Das Thakur uh, wrote the life history that is um, Chaitanya Bhagavat. Chaitanya Bhagavat he wrote and it is amazing, amazing, amazing uh, history. He could see the Leelas and then he wrote uh, the Bhagavatam, Gaura Bhagavat. Chaitanya Bhagavat. So, this is also a place of Malini Devi. Who is Malini Devi? Shiva's Pandit's wife. She also took birth in this place only. So, that is also mentioned that. Here we have a um, 
place where uh, there, there lived a devotee, close associate of Mahaprabhu. It's a very great devotee. His name was Saranga Thakur. This Taranga Thakur was a very, 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 very great devotee. But he never wanted to initiate anyone. Some devotees are like that. Hmm? They don't want to initiate anyone. <clears throat> they do their own bhajan. They are very good. So Mahaprabhu insisted him. I don't know anything. Now you have to give initiation. Saranga Thakur, you have to give initiation at least to one person. So Saranga Thakur, um, okay, he decided that tomorrow morning, whomever I see, I will initiate that person. So he went to, early morning he went to Ganga to take bath. When he went to Ganga, he could see a dead body floating on the river. And once a young boy, around 13, 14 years, he died. In those times, when young boys died, they don't bury him or burn him, burn the body. They just put the body in the banana leaf and decorate and then send in the Ganga. So the body was floating and coming without knowing whether it is dead body, person, living or alive, he gave in session. He is such a pure devotee. When he gave initiation, the boy came into life. He was bitten by snake, but by the touch of his spiritual master, Saranga Thakur, he is, then his name become, the disciple's name become Saranga Murari. This Saranga Murari became a very great guru there later. <clears throat> Sometimes it happens. The guru, spiritual master doesn't want to initiate anyone. The disciple initiates many. So this Murari went in a tiger. And then, you know, he initiated so many people by threatening them. You take up Krishna consciousness. So like that, he forcefully, like, you know, he spread Krishna consciousness very nicely. So he was a very powerful devotee, the, the boy. When he got the life, you know, the parents came to know that. Uh, a saintly person touched him and he got the life back. So the parents came back. But uh, he got initiated here and he got Krishna Prem also. He told that your son died. Now I have got a life. I am a devotee now and I don't want to come with you. Sorry, forgive me. So this place where Saranga, Mur uh, Saranga Thakur and Saranga Murari lived, that place is also, we have the, there is a temple there uh, in that uh, past time where it happened. That There only normally ISKCON conducts the morning program and uh, lots of katha. Then we go to a place called Arkatila. Arkatila is a place where we have um, sun god, uh, sun, uh, uh, sun god uh, is worshipped. Um, where we have Surya Kunda. This pastime happened in uh, Krishna Leela in Vrindavan uh, that uh, the gopis wanted to, uh, the gopis, uh, especially Radharani's mother in law, uh, Jatila, uh, she wanted to, uh, wanted Radharani to worship a uh, sun god. So she arranged for this worship. So all the gopis along with uh, Radharani, they, they were on the way to go to uh, this kund, Surya Kunda. On the way, Krishna and his friends, they appeared as brahmanas. So uh, Radharani's mother-in-law accepted, gave permission to Krishna uh, so that he performed nice puja. So this sweet pastime happened in uh, Surya Kunda. So the replica is here. Replica is here in uh, uh, Navadip, Modrumadi, where we call that place as Surya Kunda. There is a big lake, a nice beautiful lake and we do the Katha there. And then another place called Vaikuntapura. <clears throat> See this Vaikuntapura, we have Lakshmi Narayana appeared here and then uh, Narada Muni worshipped them. Uh, so, that place is called Vaikuntapura, there where uh, Lakshmi Narayana deity is there. Uh, so, they that actually exactly, I don't know, 
we we never seen the place because i don't know it is said vaikuntapura is there but uh, this time i didn't see that after arkatila our parikrama closed but uh, it is uh, here written in the books that vaikuntapura is there where lakshmi narayana is there narad muni appeared there where exactly i don't know then we go to rudra deep rudra deep is of course where uh, lord rudra is there um, and the parikrama starts from the nirdaya ghat hmm? rudra deep parikrama starts from nirdaya ghat so in when they when we come to modruma deep they stay in navadip in one place from that place they come to rudra uh, this nirdaya ghat there is a beautiful banks of river ganga <laughs> why this is called nirdaya ghat ghat means a bank why it is called nirdaya um, when mahaprabhu wanted to take sanyas um, he left his mother sachi mother sachi was crying you know he please don't go with some you know without any daya without any mercy he left uh, from house from that place where mother sachi cried a lot so that place is called nirdaya ghat it's the ghat was we started our parikrama from there and from early morning around 5:30 6 it was beautifully flowing peacefully we can see the sunrise and we we can we did kirtan katha everything and we started the parikrama from there and we started walking walking towards a place called shankarpura the shankarpura is a beautiful area which is which has lots of beautiful trees which is owned by iskon so we did the uh, the katha there drama there and the devotees as i mentioned you <clears throat> every parikrama uh, really mahaprabhu comes we uh, the devotees carry gaurunitha in palanquin and decorate and every day we do guru puja and katha morning program then breakfast then walk okay so in sankarpura this this happened uh, so they were describing that sankracharya because the rudra uh, sankracharya is none other than incarnation of Ru- rudra lord shiva sankracharya uh, spread uh, mayavat so he wanted to come to navadeep and uh, spread mayavat but mahaprabhu warned him mahaprabhu is always merciful always very 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 merciful but he was not at all merciful to sankracharya he told that navadeep is a place of preva bhakti we have bhakti here that your maya vaad should not enter navadeep please don't use your preaching skill here please go out so sankracharya left this place he, he understood uh, this is the uh, ultimate place so he worshiped and he went so that is called sankarpur they do drama and all how the mayavadis and how sankracharya came here and how he was chased away by mahaprabhu all these things they did drama then in rudra rudra deep there is a beautiful gaudiya mat so we walked to that gaudiya mat and again we had a long katha long katha uh, in that uh, lots of devotees spoke about uh, pure devotional service and uh, different acharyas and, and the, uh, the, the rudra deep's glory is also now i am not able to recollect just again i have to prepare myself sorry so there one maharaj uh, uh, gave a nice uh, class about uh, he made us to remember the deeps nine deeps and he, he asked us questions also he was guiding us how to remember all these names okay so ritra deep is for sakyam sakyam is for friendship so uh the uh, the relationship slowly from hearing right 
hearing, chanting, remembering, uh, so, uh, serving the lotus feet, archa, um, uh, doing the uh, archana and then uh, praising the Lord Vandana and then becoming a servant and then becoming a friend. So now slowly we are entering into uh, different rasas. So here uh, in Sakiras, they were describing the friendship between Lord Krishna and Arjuna, friendship between Lord Krishna and the Gopas also. So, and then after Rudra Deep, we came to Simandi Deep, which I described, but again I have to connect here so that we can conclude it. Simandi Deep is where we started, I think, but still, uh, no, no, Godruma Deep we started. Simandi Deep, I will narrate again where uh, Mahaprabhu uh, gave darshan to Parvati Mata. So Parvati Mata took the mud from the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu and put as a kumkum on the um, partition place. So this rega, this line is called Simanta Reka. So that place is called Simanta Deep, right? So from the Rudra Deep, Rudradeep, we we end in a place called um, Madhunagopal Temple. Madhunagopal Temple <clears throat> is a place uh, where Mahaprabhu's uh, maternal grandparents, means uh, Sachimata's parents lived. So Sachimata's father, Nilambar Chakravati, was worshipping this uh, Madhunagopal deity. Until now, the beautiful deity, blue color, beautiful Madhana Gopal deity, you can take darshan. <clears throat> so, from there, we start our parikrama again to Srimanta Deep. So, here also we have, in Rudra Deep, we have a very beautiful uh, tree, banyan tree, under which Lord Shiva is um, manifested. Lord Shiva is there. So, in this particular place, where the, this seems to be a very simple place, but lots of leelas happened in this place. So, uh, devotees were seated and we, they gave a big class there. So, what are all the things happened there? So, four Kumaras came uh, and uh, Lord Brahma came. Uh, Lord Shiva gave guidance to so many devotees there in that place. See, Rudra Sampradaya is there, but it is not a, a Shaivite Sampradaya. It is a Vaishnava Sampradaya, where Lord Shiva is the head of one Vaishnava Sampradaya. See, we have four Sampradaya, Sri Sampradaya, Lakshmi is the head. Kumara Sampradaya, four Kumaras are the head. And uh, our Sampradaya, Brahmaji is our head. And Rudra Sampradaya, Lord Shiva is the head. But it is a Vaishnava Sampradaya. Lord Shiva, if we go... So close to Lord Shiva, he will guide us. He will ultimately guide us to worship Krishna. So that is where Lord Shiva personally resides in that place, uh, in in that and uh, in Rudra Deep, where he guides devotees till today. So that place we cover. Then we come to uh, Madhana Gopal Temple. And from Madan Gopal Temple, we come to Simanda Deep. From Simanda Deep, we come to uh, Jagannath Mandir. From Jagannath Mandir, we come to uh, come back to Mayapur. From Jagannath Mandir, we have this again, we have um, Santkasi Samadhi, Santkasi Samadhi to um, Siva Shangan, Advaita Bhavan, and then come to Bharti Place and come back to Mayapur. So, like this, the parikrama ends. This is, uh, I could give you a small brief uh, description, but it is very, very deep. And we need to personally come uh, to understand all these things. Many times, if we go, only we can uh, understand some things because it is a very, very uh, oceanic uh, information. It's a big, big uh, uh, programs, big topic, but as much as possible I explained. Uh, so now we we complete Parikrama like this, nine island Parikramas. 
and i wish in the next class means in the next year i will give you more information uh, my tiny brain allowed this much so thank you very much for listening if you have any doubts uh, you can ask hare krishna so we have books on this english book is there mm, there are small books of all uh, deeps are there so we can go through them and meditate on dham and do parikrama in mind also we can do parikrama in mind which is very very important yeah with the association of devotees we need to personally go if not we can uh, listen we can meditate on the dham hari krishna so if you have any doubts you can ask hari krishna any comments about uh, pranam mata ji uh, mata ji could you please share the prayers you were telling uh, 108 names of lord chaitanya yeah yeah that is there in the and uh, yeah i like, can we have to recite them like after taking bath Yes, okay. yes. Six that to six exactly. to eight twenty-four. Exact time is six to eight thirty. Okay. If, if if you keep it, will be nice. Uh, that is there in Sorry. YouTube also. Some devotees have sang. It is very famous. Many times it comes in WhatsApp. I can send you. I can send in this group. Yes, Mataji. In our WhatsApp Thank group. Thank you. Namaste. I have yes. sent. Yeah, this. Okay. Uh, um, it's a wonderful name, huh? Uh, to remember yeah. mahaprabhu this is the best prayer see everything yeah. is mahaprabhu's uh, prayers i was uh, reciting for since many years after coming from uh, in between i left and when i came to mayapur i thought oh, we are in mayapur and we should glorify mahaprabhu so i started again and in front of deities fortunately because he is here only and so i have the every day i go before him and then chant this under the eight names So you also please chant. This uh, Mahaprabhu is very very important for us. Yes, Mataji, and uh, like the language is easy. We can recite now. Uh, I'm fearful, like if any offense is done. It yeah, is, for that it is yeah yeah aparadhas. It is mentioned in the finally. Uh, all the aparadhas will be forgiven. Because okay. he is the Lord. So while reciting this, also we have to be careful, na, while reciting these prayers. And we should not take advantage. Oh, I am reciting this, and I will commit the uh, uh, um, Vaishnava prayer. Then this prayer will nullify. Not in that mood. Yes. In a sincere mood, so that we will not continue doing any offenses. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So far, we have done. I have done a lot. So I am keep. I also do one prayer. Aparada sasra nikriyante ar nishamaya daso ham itima matra samashramadu sudane. So every minute I am making mistakes. So I want to stop it definitely. Please forgive. Me. So a devotee should always ask for forgiveness and ask for the intelligence so that we do we should not continue our mistakes because to err is human. we do a lot of mistakes many devotees think that uh, devotees means they will not make mistakes to err is and we are in material world uh, so it is not that uh, yeah we continue doing mistakes we should reduce as much as possible we should try at least whether we are able to control us or not that is a different thing at least we should try that we are not we should not do any offenses and mistakes in this material world right we should try at least yes mataji these prayers are really helpful so that at least krishna gives us mahaprabhu gives us the intelligence to control before we commit any mistakes so when we recite such prayers we get that uh, sharpness 
we <clears throat> we become conscious of our words and actions when we become conscious of our words and actions then definitely we will think twice so what we otherwise people, uh, when uh, like if you see some children and then some adolescents adolescents they speak whatever they want to speak and then they behave however they want to be but if we want to have control over our behavior we should be very careful very thoughtful that intelligence will be given by the lord as he is seated in the heart is giving the not is giving the knowledge is giving the remembrance is giving is giving the uh, forgetfulness everything is from him sarvasya sakam vridhi sannivishtam no he is there in the heart and he gives the smritir gyanam apohanam cha vedesya sarvai raham geva vedu vedanta krit veda vitti heva chaham so within the heart he is giving us the intelligence Uh, the intelligence to forget remember all these things so he will give us the intelligence to mind our actions correct okay thank you so next week we will go to our routines uh, or we will listen about ram katha because <coughs> ram navmi is nearing so we will go to or we will specifically take sita mata ji's thing and then it because it is a ladies group we will meditate on glories of mother sita okay okay thank you very much we'll see you next week one chakal padarupasa kripa sindhu devacha patithanam pavane pyoveshnam pyanam thank you hari krishna